Hello, everyone. Welcome to Loomly, and thank you for joining us today for the Flash webinar on our new and improved library feature. The goal of our Flash webinars is to offer a quick but in-depth presentation of one specific Loomly feature. Shouldn't take longer than 15 minutes. My name is Mike, and my colleague Molly will be answering any questions you have in the Q&A section. Now, let's dive into it so you can, we can show you how to make the most of our library feature. You can see Loomly's newly enhanced library as a digital asset management feature that's easily accessible from your Loomly calendars dashboard. Loomly's library allows you to seamlessly manage your assets. You can upload as many media files as you need, up to 30 images or 10 videos at a time, create posts from your assets, build post templates that you can use for recurring content, Organize and label your calendar's assets in a central location on your calendar. Easily sort, locate, and repurpose for future campaigns. Create new visuals with un Loomly's unsplash integration, and then edit them from your library in the asset view with Loomly Studio. You can also collaborate with your team and clients on assets by copying the link of the asset and sharing it with collaborators, our clients who have access to the calendar in Loomly. Now let's take a closer look at it so you can unlock the full potential of your calendars library. You can access the library by clicking the book icon in your calendars toolbar. You can view your media assets as a grid view or as a list view. Grid view is a great way to focus on your visuals and see everything that has been uploaded to your library in Loomly. The list view is ideal if you want at a glance stats about your assets. From either view, you'll be able to upload photos, videos, notes, and templates, as well as upload images from Unsplash. Additionally, when you select assets by clicking on them or holding the command key and choosing a range of assets, you'll be given a few options. You can create a slideshow by selecting multiple images. You can add labels in bulk to multiple assets at a time. This is a great option if you forgot to label them before. And you can also create a post from your choices by combining with a note or template from the choice. You can access at asset view by clicking on the three dots on each asset. Or when in list view, by clicking on the asset thumbnail. In asset view, you can rename the asset, add a description for easy reference, add multiple labels, see the same stats as list view. You can also mark the asset as used even if it's used outside of Bloomly, such as publishing to a blog or platform that isn't currently supported. You can also share the asset link with collaborators if you would like to share it for offline discussion for any revisions prior to scheduling a post. You can also track the logs and see whether it's been used in any post. Here's a tip, when clicking on the post, you can see that it's been used in even more detail. If you'd like, you can also leave a comment on the post, which is useful to track feedback from your team or client. One note is you cannot edit used images. If an asset hasn't yet been used in the post, then you have two additional options in the asset view. The first, is you, you can upload a new version, which is great if you already have the labels in place, as well as details like the description, but your creative team shared an updated image, for example. Another option is accessing Loomly Studio. From here, you can edit all of your images right from your dashboard. You'll be able to easily change the crop ratio to match different social media channels. You can also add filters make adjustments and refinements, change the focus, add text, and also include an overlay.
Thanks so much for joining us today. If you have any questions or suggestions, never hesitate to contact us in the chat or over email at contact at loomly.com. Thank you again and have a lovely rest of your day.